Cerita Plus is a great product for capillary fragility and easily bruising. So I'm going to read right from the clinical reference guide. And it says, indications, capillary fragility, uh, scurvy, gingivitis, bleeding gums, ulcerative colitis, migraine headaches, aneurysm, bruising. So migraine headaches, if your arteries are a little bit distended or they're not working completely well, you want to heal the arteries. It also says for um, high C-reactive protein level. C-reactive protein indicates inflammation in the body, especially with the heart. So the heart is made out of what? I mean, it's muscle and there's arteries involved. So Cerita Plus fixes a lot of things having to do with arteries and other uh, tissue related to circulation. This product came out in 1950, but it was based on the technology from the 1920s and 30s when they knew that whole food vitamin C can actually repair arteries. And it wasn't until later when they, when somebody in the scientific lab said, oh, let's, let's take ascorbic acid out of vitamin C. We'll call that vitamin C. Okay, so, but ascorbic acid is not vitamin C. It does not repair arteries, whereas whole food vitamin C does, as discovered initially in the uh, late 20s, I believe. That is what Cerita Plus is. The two main ingredients are dried buckwheat leaf and seed. So they dried those, put those into a powder. It's in the tablet. Ceruta Plus is uh, related to Ceruta. I'm a big fan of Ceruta for opening up arteries and healing arteries. Ceruta Plus doesn't open up arteries. It heals arteries very well. And then the percentages of the ingredients between the two products, is it does make a difference between taking Ceruta versus Ceruta Plus. So Ceruta for uh, healing and opening up arteries, Ceruta Plus for healing arteries and healing other types of tissue such as veins.